Hey everybody, Christopher Rod here, and uh, welcome to game number 16, day number 16 of 30 games in 30 days, where I'm playing old games, new games, silly games, serious games, games I've never played before, or haven't played since childhood. This is called Enter the Gungeon, and uh, this is a bullet hell roguelite game, and uh, this is not a genre I'm super familiar with, but I've always wanted to try it, and I feel like this is the time. I did the tutorial, and uh, it's fun, man. I can tell. I can tell you already. It's fun. Spoiler alert. It's over. It's fun. It's great. Um, the fu it's the story is funny. We're just gonna like dive right into it. The only thing I know is that we can pick four different characters. We've got the hunter. We've got the convict. We've got the pilot, and then we've got. Let me show you, whoever this guy is. The marine. So, I don't know. They're all pretty cool. I'm gonna go with the guy with the helmet because he's more mysterious. Obviously. Uh, the whole point of this game is like, we're a band of these misfits, okay? And we want to shoot, loot, dodge, roll, kill, everything. Blow everything up. We're trying to find this legendary gun that can kill the past. Yep. That's right. That's right. So, I've done the tutorial. I feel like I'm ready to find the gun. Let's see what they say. You're now ready to enter the gungeon. Are you ready? Let's go. Apparently, it's different every time. Everything's randomized as a roguelite. And you would imagine it would be. So here we go. Uh, okay, so we have unlimited ammo down here. Let's just see what else has happened. So you run around, you shoot like this. You can aim, you can dodge, you reload. Uh, those are like, that's the big three. Aim, dodge, reload. Don't get blown up. Uh, we do have those two blue bullets in the top left, and you get a couple of those per level, apparently. The idea with those is that it clears all enemy projectiles on the screen. So, I imagine fairly shortly... Great start. Yep. Okay. There we go. We've cleared the room. Some things blew up. It wasn't so bad. I lost my helmet, though. I don't know if I need to be concerned about that. It's fine. We can flip tables for cover, which is pretty cool. Apparently, you can play this game in co-op, which would be amazing. You can blow things up that are on the wall. Like, it feels great. It's fun. Let's keep going. Okay. I think I might have just rolled onto my belly. These things act as uh, portals. So you can use this to uh, return to this room at any time. We would go into here, we would select the portal, and then we can teleport there from anywhere, as long as we're not in combat. So we have three different directions. Let's head down here, see where this leads. I think when we went into that other room, oh, hello. Yeah, that's what happened. We blew something up. I'm gonna try and get his attention here. That'll do. We can dodge these projectiles as well. I don't know how strong this dude is. There we go. Oh! He's got other dudes coming in. No big deal. No big deal. Always be moving. ABM. And ABS. Always be shooting. Okay, what are these? Anything special? I don't know if there's like things we should be looking for, or if it's mostly just like get in there, kill everything, and move on. Whoa. Oh, they got f fancy shapes and everything! So many shapes! And you'll notice the enemies, like, their shotgun shells, and like, I didn't actually catch what the big dude was. But little bullets, bigger bullets. <laughs> all sorts of bullets. I mean, it's, it's the gungeon, after all. Let's be real. Okay, this is gonna be tough. Start circling. So far, so good. The controls are pretty easy to get used to. Oh, are they just taking cover? That's genius. Whoa.
Whoa, 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 what the? <laughs> I don't know what these are. They're little grenades. Oh, that's cool. Can you blow? Oh, you can blow up the tables with enough persistence. Oh, there we go. Okay, new portal. This is good. Ah, this is fun, man. Honestly, this is... This is just fun. It's really fun. Which I feel is a pretty... Pretty good way to judge a game. Is it fun? Is it not? This is fun as hell. What do we got here? Oh, hello. Didn't really need that, but... Mega Doubt is a super soaker. We got a super soaker. All right, cool. I can't wait to see all the different kinds of guns. In the tutorial, I was using a pea shooter and a AK-47, I found. Okay, so I think this is like the boss. Let me check the other rooms. Then we'll check the boss, and then we'll see what happens. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe we have a super soaker. I can just hit anything. That's incredible. Is he invisible? What is that about? Now, I, I do wonder... I do wonder if I can... Uh, change... My weapon type... As I go. Is that a thing? Uh, controller button images... I don't know. They never told me that. Doesn't matter. Okay, so the right button heals me. Oh, I see. I kind of wasted that. Oh, that gave me ammo. Ah, here we go. I can switch. You hold, uh, Y. I feel I should, uh, maybe switch back. It does give you a little, like, pause from the action, too. It's so, like, the stream is so flimsy. It's the flimsiest water stream I've ever seen. Taking a lot of heat here. I'm just gonna... Soak him like a madman. Who needs AKs when you got water soakers? <laughs> That's got to be the least efficient way of killing anything. I love that. I love that you can flip the tables, though. It feels so badass. Check this out. Water soaker coming in. Flip the table. What's up? You can't, now, you can't shoot from behind it. That's unfortunate, but it's all good. All right, here we go. What is this? Use the map to warp to these points. Yes. So I've learned. Oh! Oh! Oh, is that right? A blunderbuss? A key? A half heart? Key. So we have 34 bullets that we can spend. Table tech sight. These blanks are the things that clear the rooms if we get into trouble. Watch out for all the bullets. Thanks! I'll watch out for all the bullets. Let me take a, a half a heart here. Why not? Alright, cool. Good chat. Nice to meet you. Okay, so let's head over... Let's head over here, I guess. And... Let's see what kind of trouble we're in. What is that? A tool of some kind. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, that is... Okay, rapid fire raptor. Makes sense. Oh my god. He is not taking a ton of damage. Oh! This is so intense, actually. Uh oh. Yeah, 
Get me out. Where the hell? He's dropping things in left, right, and center. So far, so good. Whoa! Oh, boy. That was close. This is why I, I like doing this series, because it's introduced me to so many games that I would never have tried, and I don't think I've been disappointed, like, once. I just love games. Oh, God, that's bad. Oh, did he just try to melee me? Alright, we're empty. Okay. Not having to reload was kind of nice. Oh, I almost went in there. That was close. This is very close. Got him. Oh, this is cool. Man, this is really fun. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what happens now. Are these bad? What's happening? Sticky crossbow. Reload, explode. They're just devouring him? Hegemony credit accepted worldwide. <laughs> what a cool boss. I like that. Okay, so let's see what happens next after we clear an area. Obviously, we go into the bullet. We just re enter the gungeon over and over, killing other weapons, getting better weapons. Gungeon proper. Chamber 2. Alright, let's go, baby. Oh! Oh, I see! Look at that! It sticks them! And then it blows up. That's cool. I don't know if I can trigger the blow up. Let's see. I'm not gonna do anything here. He blows up when I, like, reload. Oh, no. When I reload, he takes the damage. Whoops. That's cool. That's very different. Oh, and I can, like, I could stick them all first. Oh, wow. Okay. So I can stick them first. And then trigger the reload, which also blows them up. That's neat. Now, this is a cool thing, is that if we're constantly... Oh, boy. If we're constantly getting new guns, there's going to be so much experimentation. Reminds me of another game that I can't think of right now called... Something about, like, bros, and it was it's a co-op game, and everything's a bro, and it's, like, modeled after, like, Rambo, and, like, or Rambro, I should say. Okay, lovely. Ooh. Yeah, this gun's interesting. It's called Bro Force, that's the game. It kind of reminds me of that, like, the humor of it, and it's just, like, non-stop... Exploding things. That's all it is. Just non-stop blowing things up. Oh, that was unfortunate. Yeah, we're in trouble. Let me clear a path here.
I need some healing stat. I need healing real bad. Uh, what else do we have in here? May okay, so this is out. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know... Select teleport, select item. Oh, please health. What? It's locked. Okay, so this is why we buy the keys, I guess, from the guy. Fair enough. Um, I don't really need to teleport anywhere. We just have to take another option, I think. I guess I could have teleported here, but either way. We gotta be really careful with our health now, though. Real careful. Oh yeah, that seems good. What? See, that's where we can clear the room. Hey, we got him. Just live! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the box, of course the box got me. So now what happens? This is interesting, I want to know. Killed by the Cubulon. You dead. You dead. Money, 52. Kills, 82. The past still haunts you. Quick restart or return to the breach. So that's it. You, you just want to go, like, as long as you possibly can. This is fun, man. I kind of want to just do this to show you guys this game and, like, this is... This is fun. This is fun. I think you guys get the general sense of uh, what it's like. I'll probably wrap this one up as a short one today, but uh, I think if you're into this kind of game and you've never heard of it before, then you'll be like, yeah, this is great. Um, if this is not your kind of game, you'll be like, you'll know within two seconds it's not your kind of game. But uh, yeah, this is published by uh, Devolver Digital, who's like, killing it. These guys are publishing amazing games right now, and uh, I'm excited, man. This is really fun. Um, I'll save you guys... I'm not going to go through another one, but I'm definitely going to be playing this on my own whenever I can, because it's really cool. It's another, like, pixel-based uh, game, but, like, I've never played a bullet hell before. I never have. And this was fun as hell. That's all I can say. Hope you guys enjoy it. i got links below if you're interested, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.